why easy credit and fiat currency creates moral hazard and will eventually destroy society. Imagine two people. They live next door to each other. Same kind of job, wife, income, kids, hobbies, etc. But one guy has made the decision to only live off his debit card. He gets paid, the money goes into his bank account, and he's very careful about what he spends and how much he saves. The other guy has a credit card with a huge limit. And every time he calls his credit card company to ask them to increase the limit, they say, sure, no problem. And further, let's imagine that this guy doesn't worry too much about when or if he'll ever pay off his credit card. This guy doesn't use it only for emergencies. He loves buying things on his credit card. And let's further imagine that no matter how much he spends on his credit card, the minimum monthly payment is only $100. Now consider these kind of strange questions about debit card guy versus credit card guy. Which guy do you think is in better physical shape? Which guy do you think has a happier marriage? Which guy would you trust with a secret? Which guy would you rather ask for help when you really needed it? Which guy would you rather live next door to? Which guy would you rather be a business partner with? Which guy do you think is more likely to go to church? Which guy do you think would be more honest on his taxes? So what's the point of this goofy mental experiment? The guy with the credit card has what's called moral hazard. No matter what kind of bad situation pops up, he can always bail himself out with his credit card. And the law of moral hazard says, if you know you're going to be bailed out if something bad happens, that will increase the likelihood of something bad happening. But debit card guy doesn't have that luxury. He knows that if something unexpected comes up, he's got to pay for it out of his savings, which means he's probably very careful so bad things have a lower probability of happening. He's probably much more conservative and doesn't do things unless he really thinks them through. Now, instead of two types of people, think of two types of government, but with the same basic idea. One government is like debit card guy. They collect taxes, the income of the government, and that's all they spend. So when they decide to spend the taxpayer's money, they're very careful about how they spend it. On the other hand, think of a government that has essentially an unlimited credit card. They don't really care how much money they spend or where they spend it because they can always spend more money on their unlimited credit card. Now think of those same basic questions. Which government would be more responsible? Which government would be more proactive? Which government would not swell up to a huge size? Which government would be smaller and more efficient? Which government would you rather live under? Of course, in both these scenarios in this mental experiment, we kind of assumed that the unlimited credit card of the guy or the unlimited credit card of the government would just keep going and never end. But in real life, that's not possible. If credit card guy is not careful, he will have a very significant negative financial event in his future. And that would require a significant change in his lifestyle. Similarly, governments can't live off their metaphorical credit credit cards forever. There will be a significant negative event in the future. What that means specifically and when that will happen specifically is anybody's guess. To learn more about the nature of the world and how you can thrive within it, please visit mindpersuasion.com. Check out the links below. And because we make videos almost every day, please subscribe so you can continue to learn more. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.